Hi, everyone. For math today, what we're going to focus on is we are going to review adding and subtracting tens. We, as first grade teachers, have looked at the scores for our classes on the last test we took. We know that we were giving you stuff that you hadn't done yet, but we were also giving you things you had done. And one of those things that you should have been able to do is add and subtract tens in your head, thinking about those things. So it's simply like if I have 50 plus 10, then I'm thinking, well, one more than five tens is six tens. So without even having to say what is five plus one, I just know one more than five is six, so I have six tens and I have zero ones. If I'm subtracting, then I see 50 minus 10. I just think, well, I'm going back 110. And back 110 from five is four. So I would have four tens and zero ones. If I write all of my tens here, and I have just basic tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. If I have my basic tens here, then remember when it's on a hundreds chart, if I'm at 10 and I add one more 10, I have 20. If I'm at 30, and I go back 110, I'm at 20. 10 to 20 is the same as 10 plus 10. 30 to 20 is the same as 30 minus 10. If I'm at 60 and I want to go up to 80, I just went down 110, two tenths. I just added two tens to 60. So that is the same as 60 plus 20, because these are the two tens that I counted up. Okay. Now, if I'm at 90 and I want to go back to 60, I'm moving one tens place, two tens places, and three tens places on the tens chart, on the hundreds chart. So that's 10, 20, 30. That is the same as 90 minus 30. So it's very important that you know and have a strong understanding of adding by 10 and taking away by 10. Um, if I am at 50 and I add 110, I get to 60. If I have 10, and I want one more 10, then that's the same as 10 plus 10. If I'm at 20 and I want to add 10 more, that's the same as 20 plus 10. 30 plus 10 is the same as 30 and 10 more. 40 plus 10 is 40 and one more 10. 50 is 50 plus 10, and that is 50 plus one more 10. If you think back to the weird problem that you had in on your school city test, where it was you have 52 plus 10. I'm going to change the 52 to just 50 so it's easier for you guys to see and understand because we haven't started adding ones yet. So 50 plus 10. It says, if I want to add 10, how many more am I counting up to get to the answer of 50 plus 10? And did I use tens or ones? So we have 50 plus 10. We're adding 10. So we're adding 10. But how many more tens are we counting up? We're only counting up one ten. Okay? 
So we are only counting up 110. And 110 says we're using the tens place. So 50 plus one more 10 equals 60. In the problem on your test, being 52 plus 10, we're still going up how many tens? We're only moving up one more 10. So it's a one and it's a 10. We're moving up 10 more. There aren't any ones here. So we're just moving up one 10. So we have to say that we're using tens. So the answer to 52 plus 10, 10 more than 50 is 60. So 52 plus 10 more is 62. So all it was asking in a problem like this is how many tens are you moving? Let's practice with 80. I want you to get your pencil out and do this with me. Or if you have a whiteboard, I want you to do this on your whiteboard. Write 80. Now we are mentally adding 10 more. So we're not going to draw out pictures. We're not doing this, okay? We're not drawing pictures. We're mentally adding. We're at 80 and we go 10 more. One more 10 than eight. If I'm at eight, what is one more than eight? It's nine. So one more 10 than eight tens is nine tens. So 80 plus 10 more is 90. Let's go ahead and look at 90 because I know some of us are going to get confused when we do 90. 90 plus 10 more. Let's think about that carefully. Nine tens plus one more 10. If we just have a nine, the number nine, and we're adding one more, what comes one more after nine? 10. So now we have 10 tens, but we haven't added our ones yet. There are no ones to add, so it's a zero. So 90 plus 10 is 10 tens and a zero ones, which gives us the number 100. Let's go back and let's look at 30. Remember, we're just adding and subtracting 10 right now. Right now we're focusing on 10 adding. In a few minutes, we will subtract 10. So we have 30 and we want to add 10 more. This is going up one more 10 from 30. So if we have three, what is three plus one? It's four. Three and one more is four. So we have four, but it's not just the number four, it's in the tens place because we added our tens. So we have four tens, now we add our ones, and we have zero ones. Now, let's look at subtracting. We're going to take away 10. So let's start at 90. If I count back one from, if I look at my pad, let's look at this first. Adding, the numbers get larger. So here's one 10 plus one more 10 makes two tens. Two tens plus one more 10 makes three tens. Three tens plus one more 10 makes four tens. Four tens plus one more 10 is five tens. Five tens plus one more 10 is six tens. Six tens plus one more 10 is seven tens. Seven tens plus one more 10 is eight tens. Eight tens plus one more 10 is nine tens. So now that we are working on subtracting, we're going backwards. We're taking away 10. Look at the pattern now. We have another number 90. It has nine tens. Nine tens minus one 10 is eight tens because it's going back nine, eight. So take away one more 10 and we have seven. Seven take away one more 10 and we have six tens. Six tens take away one more 10 and we have five tens. Five tens take away one more 10 is four tens. Four tens take away one more 10 is three tens. Three tens take away one more 10 is two tens. And two tens take away one more 10 is one 10. So subtracting is counting back 
backwards on our pattern of tens. So I'm going to erase that now. Come back so that we can think about this. 90 minus 10. This is 90 minus one more 10. That is going to be nine minus eight. I mean, whoops. That is going to be nine minus one. Nine, 10 minus one, 10. If you have nine and you take away one, you have eight left. So nine tens minus one 10 equals eight tens. But then we look at our ones and we have zero ones. So we have to add zero ones. Now, if I am at 60 and I'm taking away 10, I'm mentally thinking in my head, well, six tens take away one 10 is five tens because the number six take away one is five. So I am left with five tens and zero ones. If I have the number 30 and I take away 10, I am at three tens, counting back one 10, and that leaves me with two tens and zero ones. So 30 minus 10 equals 20. Hopefully we have an understanding now of mentally being able to add 10 more and 10 less. Still using counting on with tens, we're going to do the same thing with our tens and groups of 10. So if I have 50 and I'm adding two more groups of 10 to 50, we write that as two tens and zero ones. So five tens plus two tens equals what? So we think five tens, two tens is the same as five plus two, but we're adding tens to the end. So what is five plus two? It's seven. So it's not just the number seven, it's seven tens and zero ones. Now, if I have, let's go with 30, and I want to add 40, I'm adding my three tens and my four tens. So what is three tens plus four tens? It is also seven tens. And that's in the tens place, we have to have a number in the ones place. Well, we have zero plus zero equals zero. There are zero ones. So 30 plus 40 equals 70. Now, if we look at subtracting, remember we always start with the largest number when we are subtracting. So if I have 70 and I want to take away 50, this is the same as saying seven minus five. So if I have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm taking away five, I'm not adding it. I'm taking away five, one, two, three, four, five. And how many is left? Two is left. So 70 minus 50 or seven tens minus five tens equals two tens. There are no ones left over. So it's zero ones. If I have 80 and I want to take away 30, I can think eight minus three. If you think quickly in your head, or if you have to draw it out or use your fingers, you have eight and you take three away, you're left with five. Well, in this case, we're not just subtracting the number three from the number eight. We're subtracting three tens from eight tens. So when we have eight tens and we take away three tens, we are left with five tens and zero minus zero is zero, zero ones. If I have the number 60 and I want to take away 40, I think six minus four. Six minus four. So if I take four away from six, I'm left with the number two. So now I have to remember 
that I'm not just subtracting six and four. I am saying six tens minus four tens. I'm taking four tens away from the six tens. So that leaves me two tens, and look at our ones, there are zero, so zero ones. On your problems today that I'm going to have for you, I want you to write them down and I want you to solve them. Then I want you to take a picture of them and send them to me. The first problem, number one, that I want you to solve is one, two, three, four, five, six tens which is 60 plus two tens, which is 20. I want to have both answers written down. Please give me a number, not just tens. Now that you see your problems, when you are finished with those problems, take pictures, add them to your assignment, and turn it in.